eight, so seven, we are eight seconds six, away from this game five, as four, we got three, five games left on the slate today. And we are off, ladies and gentlemen. Flurum will take the handoff. Zoe going inside, and Zoe doesn't finish inside. She's going to have to deal with Nina Crisp or Nina with the nice pass. But no clear on that. And right now, they'll love to get back on the winning column. And when it comes to Team Netherlands, they had an opportunity to play Zoe against Zoe underneath, Kenya. no make. And it was more than an easy one for Team Netherlands. They Pop will swing it to Crisper. Crisper will try to go at Zoe. Oh, good screen by Crisper. Open layup there. Boruta. And right now, Austria has got the win. Fleurin will step back. No go on the shot. A fight for the rebound ends up. Let's see. Pulling out of bounds off the Dutch. So the, the Austrians here. Feisty to start the game. Schmidt, the 19 year olds in the game. Gets her cookies taken by Fleurin. That's her strobe waffle. Fleur. Fakes, draws the contact. No make, though. What could I say? Showed off a lot of offensive skill in the first game. Missed that one, but she will draw a foul. First foul on the Austrians and a free throw coming up for Lotte van Kruistum. She will not knock that in. Gets her own board though and this time, oh, she misses the freebie. Working on her offensive rebound stats and another free throw coming up for Lotte van Kruistum. Missed a couple of easy ones, but he's looking to get the Dutch team on the board here. And another miss. So the Dutch, as they say in the Netherlands, have a lid on the basket. Oh, that's a horse shot. We need to use that in a game of horse. Zoe gets her cookies taken. So Austria is looking uh, mighty crisp like a pack of Pringles. Christen with the rebound. Slachter with the screen for Christen. Almost gets stripped. Possession back to the Dutch with six seconds on the shot uh, on the shot clock here. Fleuren. Any daylight you give her, she's gonna knock that down two to two. Pop. Pops a pass to Crisper, and that one rolls off the rim. And fouls call underneath, so. Uh, easy one missed there by Crisper. We had an open layup after that pop pass. So, Ruto with the, with the thievery there, pop. Going at Zoe. She says, what's popping? Me. Three to two, Austria after that pull up there. And Zoe, she will try to gain possession. And position, she will be fouled doing just so. So the Austrians have used a lot of their fouls early to keep the Dutch away from the easy scores. Four fouls on them, zero on the Dutch. Lotte van Kruisten kicks it out. Fleure, another open look. No go. But a foul's called. With two shots coming up for Kiki Fleur on the fifth foul on the Austrians here. They don't have to start looking out. I mean, it's, they have more fouls than points after two and a half minutes of play. Fleur will knock in the first one and tie the game at three. Ready, 
Second one rolls out. Rebound Crisper. Pop lobs it up. And Crisper will put it in. So four to three. And an offensive foul on the Dutch. First foul on them. And they'll reward possession back to Austria. Boruta. Boruta. Backdoor cut by Crisper. Kicks it out to Boruta. Boruta launches a two. No go, but the Austrians get their mitts on another board. Crisper. Fluren will try to go it. Uh, find Song. Song, she's pulled away. So six to two in fouls, four to three in score. And we will get to our first TV timeout here with a, uh, a low scoring affair so far. The ladies didn't know it was going to be a timeout, so they kind of just sat there looking at each other. So uh, I'm sure both teams will talk it over, and the Dutch will probably discuss the fact that they need to find some more consistent offense. They were methodical in their first game against Kenya, outmatching them 22 to 5. But in this game, they haven't been able to score as easy. Oh, beautiful pass by Fleur to Zoe Slachter. Pretty play by the Dutch team. Play first here. Behind the back pass. Schmidt will try to answer for the Austrians. No go. And then Crisper on the rebound is just throwing Lotusant out. She knew what was happening. She put her hand up as she was doing it, too. Now, we can debate whether that was a smart foul or not, as this will be Austria's seventh foul. And we are just three and a half minutes into this game. So now they are in the bonus. And every foul they will commit will give the Dutch two free throws. That's not a, that's not a good spot to be in at this time of the game. Trust me. Anyway, Lotus Song gets both free throws to go down. So the Dutch with a lead here. Crisper. Crisper is a uh, is very handsy on the boards. She just threw Sant out of the way like she was a paperweight. Crisper now with the post up and a holding call. And Lotte van Kruistum on the Dutch side, so third foul on the Dutch. And possession back to Austria. Pop. Zoe with the good box out. She will try to get it back. Great seal by Zoe, Zoe Slachter and, and great finish. Easy one-two combo with Kiki. Boruta. Again, the Austrians, they've been good on the boards. And they uh, just haven't found consistent offense since the start of the game. Pop this time tries to finish over top of Van Kruisten. Crisper as well hits the top of the backboard on that attempt. No rim, though, so ball back to the orange. Austria at the lead. And right now, Netherlands has got twice as many points. So the Netherlands have stormed all the way back to lead in this game. At least when it comes to momentum, the initiative. Kruist them. And this one. To Somme. Netherlands once again on offense. A two-pointer. Shot from the two-point line. No go. Somme this time with the board. She turns, but that will be a three seconds back to the basket violation. It's a new rule this year. You can't post up for more than three seconds while dribbling with your back towards the basket and going towards the basket. Pop to Boruta. Boruta. 
Back to pop. Beautiful play by the Austrians. Nice split screen action for a, uh, a quick score. Sunk. Decides to drive, drive it out to Kiki Fleurin this time. Looked like a smart choice, but that one rolled out. Pop again, so Austria back into things. Fleurin to Van Kruijsen. Pretty pass, pretty finish. Nine to six, the Netherlands. Not sure how she got that pass through, but she did. Threatening the needle like a seamstress. Pop. Hasn't popped, in, uh, hasn't popped one in in a while from Two Point Land. Sump will take the check here for the Dutch. And off action on the high post with Fleuren and Slachter. Both teams are playing extremely physical. Crisper is just manhandling people. Fleure fakes and makes. Teams are just, uh, both uh, players for both teams are just trying to hit each other and play physical. And, and a general rule of thumb here for you guys that, that haven't watched a lot of 3x3, the team that is most uncomfortable in the game usually loses. So a foul and Fleur in there on the screen, try to get around. Poruta. Rub down screen with Crisper. Poruta has a shot at two. No, but Crisper will come away with the board. Off the Christmas screen, pop off the glass. No, sunk with the rebound to Zoe. We are at the four minute mark. Next stoppage of play will be. Oh, this will be the next TV timeout. And Zoe Slochter walked on that. It's a travel. Last stretch of the game here, last three minutes and 57 seconds, to be precise. Look at coach Max Kovacevic, member of Team Utrecht, last year member of Team Amsterdam, looking mighty angry. I'm kidding, his eyebrows are always set like that. Pop! Going at the basket and she drops it in. So Austria within three. Van Kruistum tries to get a post up going and she does. Hook shot down and catch him big fish with that. Fleurin with the thievery. She finds Zoe underneath. Zoe gets her cookies taken though. Crispin with the quick hands. Boruta with the step back and that one will drop in. So Austria within two. Don't look now. Van Kruistum though trying to answer. No, but Zoe Slachter gets her own board. And eventually gets fouled. Two free throws coming up for Zoe Slachter. If I see it correctly, two free throws will be shot by Team Netherlands. So a timeout's called, and it should be considered a low scoring affair. We, we're at 9 to 11 here. We have about 3 minutes and 20 seconds left to play. 8 to 4 fouls. The Netherlands have been up for a while now. Pop's been nice. And she's been trying to bring Austria back. And I've been very impressed with Nina Crispert's physical style of play. And she's been getting her hands on a lot of boards, a lot of loose balls, and she's gotten a lot of strips as well on layup attempts. Zoe with two free throws. First one's a make. Zoe, seconds a miss. The Dutch will come away with the board, though. Zoe again, hands it off to Fleuren. Fleuren, midi pull up. Thank you. Ooh, Pop, almost at her lost. Pop steps back. No make, and this time the board to Van Kruistum. Quick shot by Van Kruistum. This won't drop, though. Crisper 
Tries to find Pop on the entry pass, and that'll be a foul on the Dutch, who are looking at a four-point lead, and it's only their fifth foul. So Crisper will take the check. Boruta drains another one from long range. Oh, Kiki Fleuren. Oh, she had her lost like it's 2004. TV show lost. Y'all heard me use that earlier today. Don't lie. It's all good, though. Dutch up four points still. Possession to the Austrians here. Crisper to Pop. And that just took a little bit too long. Shot clock was running out. So the Dutch will get it back and a chance to add to their lead here. A missed opportunity for Team Austria. As you know, just a couple of seconds Sunk ago, they cut the to Slaughter. He'll run that high screen. Right now, Hand off action. This time she denies it and misses the lay, though. Crisper with the board. Backdoor pass to Pops disrupted. Zoe back to Kiki. Kiki shooting fire like a wizard in Diablo. Dropping in another two ball. Crisper going at the cup. Austria needs some buckets and they need some stops. We're under two minutes. And once again, Netherlands will have an opportunity to get this lead even bigger. Nice pass. Slachter, she can add to the lead here with a bucket. But Austria will come away with the board. And again, they need some scores. And the foul's called on the floor. It's the seventh foul in the Dutch, so. Nina Crisper here. Step up to the line and get two free throws. Try to cut the lead down to four points. First one's a break. Chris for knocks in the second one. Fleuren, though, can she answer with a two? No, she cannot. Borita finds a wide open pop. Another two drops in for the Austrians. And don't look now, but they're storming back into this game. Sunk underneath. No make. So we're at one minute and 15 seconds left to go. The Dutch will remain possession, but they got 1.7 seconds left on the shot clock. Fleuren will get a quick screen and a quick look at it. She launches it, front rims it, but get her, she'll get her on board. Zoe underneath, spins, turns, no go, but look some. We'll collect the board. She will forget to put in the layup. That was a wide open layup, too. Look at this. Well, this is a, a replay of that jump ball situation, which will be rewarded to defense, which is Austria. Anyway, look the song. Missed the easy one. Boruta. Hand off to Pop. Pop. One foot runner, shot clock pressure. So not a great look for the Austrians here. We're looking to get some consistent offense, not, not some wild shots. Fleuren will take a seat for the Dutch, who have 57 uh, seconds left to try to take home the second W of the day. Slachter going at the basket, and again, Crespo with the quick hands. He's like a featherweight boxer. Look at this. Zoe Slachter on the attack, and Crisper just 
Chris with the strip there. That shot will miss. The shot clock will run out. Austria with a chance to climb back into this thing. Down three points. Oh. Crisper kicks it out. Pop. Launches one. And a travel call on Kruistum. So the Dutch, they, they haven't been all that, that sharp at the end of the game here, I must say. A missed layup, turnover. And the Austrians, they, the door is open for them. Boruta with the step back. A launch and a miss. She will get her own board, though. That will run out of bounds. That took some time off the clock. I'm sure that was intentional. So uh, 14 seconds left in this game. And again, time is not in favor of the Austrians. High screen action again. Kiki, shot clock at six, tries to create some space, finds Zoe in the corner for the open two. Zoe will knock it in. 19 to 14, Netherlands will take home the victory here over the Austrians. And will come out of day one, women A pool play with two wins. The first one, a 22 to five victory over Kenya, and now a 19 to 14. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say a struggle because it was uh, it wasn't pretty at times. But they get it, they got the job done. And Zoe knocked one in from the corner on this one, securing the victory. 19 to 14. As the Dutch again, 2-0 in pool play on this day. Now again we have a